Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of lines of symmetry. This is standard 4.6b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 of the redesigned practice online star test which is a new item type hotspot. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is a hot spot, so we don't have A, B, C, or D. We just need to select some answers here. And you notice I've selected two. It will not let me select a third unless, as much as I want to, unless I deselect one of these other ones. And if I just try to go to the next problem with just one answer chosen, it will say, oh, there's a problem. You've only selected one. So this hotspot is designed to make sure that you answer it correctly because it needs two correct answers. We're looking for shapes that have exactly one line of symmetry. So I'm going to use this graph draw feature. I'm going to expand it. I always like to increase the transparency so I can see the problem behind it a little bit more. Now, uh, I'm going to use the draw feature. The connect line feature is kind of nice. You know, it gives you nice straight lines like this, but it only works if what's behind it is exactly on the lines. And these are not exactly on the line. I guess we could try to move it to try to get it like that, but it's it's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a pain. So let's just instead go to the draw feature. And so I'm looking for a line of symmetry. So a line of symmetry is going to be a, a line that cuts the shape in half. So if you fold it over on that line, you are going to get the exact same shape. All right, so that. Uh, it's not the straightest in the world, but pretend that's a line of symmetry. So I've got one there. I could do one side to side, but see, that's the problem. I need exactly one. I could also do kind of these diagonals since the square itself is kind of rotated. Look at this. I've got four different lines of symmetry. So definitely not that square. Now, here's the thing with the circle, right? The circle actually has an infinite number. Right, as long as you're going through the center, so my center is right around there, you can do as many of these as you can fit. I can't make them close enough, but you see, I'm just, you could just go like this, all the way around, and then all of the spaces in between those, you could get other ones. So, definitely not that circle, because they have an infinite number. So that's got four lines of symmetry. There actually is a mathematical symbol for infinite, right? It's that sideways eight. All right, so let's check out this arrow here. All right, so we definitely have one moving side to side. If you fold that top part down, they'll match. But you know what? What we can't do, let me, let me use blue to show one that you can't. I'll put a little X there. Typically, we like to see if we can get a vertical side, but you see how this wouldn't work? Because this right here doesn't have a match over here. It needs to have uh, something like, like this over here. So this only has, only has one. All right, so that blue one doesn't work. It's just that red one. So let's try this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, they're both hexagons, but they're different looking hexagons. So I could do this one right down the middle. But you know what? Kind of like that arrow. I can only do I can only do one. Watch this. If I... If I do that one, if I try to do a side to side, because that's typically how the other one works, it's not going to work because look at all this right here. There's nothing like this that matches on this other side down here. So we've got one. So it looks like I've got my two answers right here. Let's just verify that this hexagon has got more than one. Let's see, I could do... As always, we're looking for vertical and horizontal. That's where you typically start. There's more vertical, there's more horizontal. They both look good. But look, I can go this diagonal. And then I can go this diagonal as well. And then, you know what? I could probably do the flats in between. Watch this. Wow, look at all that. One, two, three, four, five, six lines of symmetry. All right. So, our answer here, we have to hit the hot spot. We're going to hit the arrow and that hexagon.